in the first third. Fantastic climbing. Yeah, no, and, have a great day. Yeah. yeah. You know, we thought it would be this really cool idea for us to a review the gym because nobody's reviewed the gym yet. And it just had to happen. And because, it had to happen. But it had to happen by very strong climbers. Oh, regardless of anything else, it had to be done by some strong. It had to be done by some strong, <laughs> some strong climbers. But more importantly, we thought it would also be cool, minus the review is that what do you do when you're done climbing? I eat. Do you eat? All the time. And I'm a huge foodie. Like, if I have to eat, it better be delicious. I'm not a foodie. I, this, this is where we're going to disagree. Because here's the thing. Like, I want to eat. I want to eat great food, but I'm not going to rip a place up on, like, foodie details. Okay. Well, I guess if that's what you're Fine. Maybe I'm not a foodie. I just like to eat really good food. I mean, we don't have to get the semantics of it, but I just really, like, if I'm going to eat, it's going to be delicious. All right, so on that note, we decided to come to this place called Humble Potato. Nice. This is good, right? I thought that was a good one. Yeah, that was good. Humble Potato. And Ryan's never been here. First time. Funny enough, how far do you live from here? <laughs> just three blocks away. <laughs> Didn't even know this place existed. And I really live excited. all the way over there. But... Do you remember what the mileage was? Uh, it was a little over six miles from the gym, but yeah. just barely. We have barely over six miles. And it was like just down the ten, and then we hit the four or five, and we got off of Washington Blitz, and then made a right, and then took Washington Blitz, just like all the way almost close to Marina Del Rey. Well, <laughs> on that note, we are going to have a little moment of your guys' time to just talk about the gym. Just a wee bit. Talk, talk about, about what we did. Yeah, what we did talk about what we thought of the gym and we're gonna we're gonna have some great food and maybe this will be the place that you go to after you guys work out over at home. Right? Always good to have a little bit of source of protein, some carbohydrates and you know everything else that goes in. You got beer. Yeah, you know you gotta have it. Yeah. There's nothing like after a good climb like when your hands hurt, you know, and you just hold on to a cold beer. Like it, it, it really Just is. Take it from Ryan. It I really think is. I think that might be a good way to go. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, kind of chill out, have our drinks, wait for the food to come, and we'll start going away at this. Uh, I think so. I mean, do you want? To, should we just start talking about the gym as we? Move yeah. Over? Let's let's do that. Let's let's talk about the gym. Yeah. Um. Good going on the barrel today. <laughs> oh my goodness, dude! It was, it was just. It, it looks like it's about to crash the wave, but then you send it and it just works out. It's amazing. <laughs> so if you guys haven't been there, the barrel at Culver City is huge. Yeah, it, it's pretty much like the first thing you see when you walk into the door. Like you, The door opens up and there's just this wall that extends up for a good, what, 15 to 20 feet? That's my, that's my homie that just walked by. You didn't see him, but that's my homie. <laughs> But like, yeah, it's like, what, 15, 20 feet high? No, 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 18. 18, yeah, so 18 feet. 20. Yeah. So it's 18 feet high, and it, you yeah. just look up at this thing, like, oh, dear God. And it just, it, it's 18 feet high, but it comes down, and it starts all the way down to the bottom. I disagree. So, I think it goes all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. You're right, it does. Yeah. It goes all the way down to the bottom. <laughs> and then you have to, like, oh. oh it just, it, there, there's nothing else quite like it in in the Los Angeles area for Boulder. By far. Like, By it, far. Like any other gym just doesn't, like they don't have anything that, that comes close in, in terms of height or in terms of just general like that much overhead. Yeah. For that for that extended period of time. I think you can probably go to a climbing gym and climb like, like their overhead, but you're on road. This, this, is, is, this is strictly Boulder. Yeah. Strictly Boulder overhead, which is unheard of. You don't get that. Yeah. You don't get it. I, well, good going on. <laughs> did, you, did you like my little attempt on that pink, that the, the pink, pink the pink bat hang thing? The, so there's this climb over there that is like a pink bat hang. It's a bat hang. And Which for those of you that don't know, is essentially when you 
when you're climbing inverted and you have to toe hook, which is you take both of your toes, both of your feet, and you hook them around the around the corner of the ledge, and then you have to hang upside down on on your on your feet, so you look like a bat. Hang exactly. Bat hang. Right. Right. Um, nice little smart maneuver that you made. After I fell, you jumped right on it. Well, you know, sometimes you just like when your friend doesn't set, you know, you just have to get right on there and start the set train for them. I agree. Sometimes when your friends don't set, you have to set for them. So on that note, uh, you're going on the on the peak again, another peak. Yeah, in the uh, in the wing of the Serenity. Yeah, the wing of the Serenity. Can we talk about that? We can we can go into that a little bit. I mean, it was yeah. It was. Uh, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna start the camera over again. There's gonna be a little pause. Bear with us. <laughs> Just so we have. Uh, so we're back to talking about the five. We are we are back to talking about right. the five. The so, five that you fell off. Yeah, I, I didn't quite I didn't send and Jeremy, like a good friend. Sent. I picked up the slack. Like when your friends fall or when they don't do the thing that they said they're gonna do, somebody has to pick up the slack. Yeah, and, and for those of you that don't know, a lot of people like so the very first thing you see when you walk into the gym is you see the barrel. You, the barrel. you, you did you did say the first thing you see is the barrel. The first thing you see is the barrel. You look to your left, and what most people call the turtle, which, which doesn't look like a turtle. Doesn't look like a turtle. But if you ever seen Firefly, it looks exactly like the ship's around. Right to a T. To a T. There's that little thing, the nose, and the wings come out like yeah. that, yeah. just like Serenity. <laughs> and nobody wants to make the connection. Except or people just aren't smart enough. Yeah. Or I prefer that because I like to think of myself as a really intelligent human being. Really, I like to, I like to think that people just aren't geeky enough. That might be. Yeah, but I mean, to be geeky is to be intelligent. But back to the climbing. Back to the climbing. So, so it's this really nifty. Like it starts out in, in another overhang, and so you start out essentially climbing up this wall and coming in. And so then there's a there's this really tricky volume that sticks out like a like a stalactite. Yeah. And you have to essentially maneuver your body around, uh, like 180 degrees around this stalactite with just these tiny, really compression moving holes as your feet are just dangling in back and forth. And, uh, and then, then you move into like a, like a Gaston hand jam, and then you come around and move back onto the same wall. And then top out. And then top out. I didn't know about the Gaston hand jam to then twist the body, which, Jeremy so kindly. I will admit, I did see him try it first, so I got a little bit of beta. <laughs> which obviously, as you guys know, always makes it a little easier. But I did I did finish it. Right. I did get it. But, but what I'm super proud of, and you'll see in the video, maybe, you might not see enough of it, but I pulled the Jeremy. Which is when you're on the climb and you your feet cut and you actually swing so far that your head hits the top of the climb. <laughs> And as you can see, this is why it's called the Jeremy, because that happened, what, last week? Yeah, last week. Yeah. I was climbing, and again, huge volume coming out of the wall. Wanted to get the problem really bad. Wasn't paying attention. Mm -hmm. Hit the top of my head. And where we are. Uh, now, now we have a move called the Jeremy. The future is so proud of There's no move called the Ryan. No, or the Judy. Isn't. I mean, but I don't really think anybody really or wants least, to call anything with that. At least not in climbing, there's not a big no, no, not in the rain. But, but there are many things. Well, I'm not saying. Okay. Good, put that one in. You can edit this later, right? Yeah, we can always edit. We can always edit. Um, you know what I really love? From the gym? Are you, are you going to say the turtle head? I am not. I do, I do like the turtle head. I do. But one of the main reasons I go to Flips of it or, or you know, go to the Culver Gym is because after a good workout, I love going into the sauna. There's really nothing quite like that. No. I, I always tell people this, that after a good workout, I go into the sauna, and let me tell you, when I go home, I get the best sleep ever. Oh. Everything's I mean, just minus the fact that I think the sauna is good for you and it relaxes your muscles and all the stuff that everybody says about the sauna. I just appreciate the good night's sleep 
I, the waking up of feeling refreshed. Yeah, there, there, there really is nothing quite like just going in fully decompressing from the climb, whether you had a good day or a bad day. You go in, you take a quick shower, you come, you just sit in the sun, and you just have yourself a sweaty ball. <laughs> You just sit there and like that, that's actually where you meet some of the coolest people at the gym. Like you just gotta hang out in the sauna and then people just join you and you're, you're stuck there for 15 minutes with each other. You're either gonna be silent or you might go talking to somebody and you just see. Uh, that's where some of the best friends are made. In the sauna. In the sauna. In the sauna. I don't, I, just so you guys know, I don't make any friends in the sauna. <laughs> I make zero friends in the sauna. Um, I can't wait for this food. I'm so excited. What did you order? Um, I ordered something called Jack. Okay. okay. And I forget, I forget what's on it. I forget what's on it. It's something to do with pepper jacks. That's true. It's true. So it's it's should be a, it should have a little bit of heat to it. Yeah. That's, I, that's my impression as well. What about you? I got what's called the Coke Coco. And um, it's some sort of grilled chicken. Fantastic news, and it's got a fried egg on it. Which you couldn't review the fried egg. No, if anything, if anything ever comes with a fried egg on top, like asparagus, french fries, Brussels sprouts, burgers, eggs, on top of eggs, on top of eggs <laughs> anything, like you can literally put a fried egg on. I'm not gonna say anything, but, but most things, and I would order it because it's just like that. It just it makes it. It's like it's, the, it's like adding creme fresh. But I, I I am so fond of just fried egg on I think oh. whoever came up with that idea, genius. Definitely went to heaven. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely went to heaven. Because there's, 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 it's like, how did we go through life? I don't know how I went through all of like my my adolescence, my my preteen, teenage, and I'm not gonna say adult life because I'm nowhere near being an adult at 28. But I don't know how I went through that that whole life. Thank you. And didn't have a fried egg on my burger before. And then when I finally did, probably like three years ago, it was like a mind-opening experience. I feel like I just hit her bottom. Yeah. It just, oh, it just looks really good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, oh my god, that's good. I don't know what that is. Some sort of curry. I actually ordered, I actually ordered other fries. And I don't know what they are. No, you just said order a fries. Oh, really? Uh -huh. Okay, I did it. We should get them for you. Which one? The one that, like, with the... With all the... There's, there's, they make fries with all the fries. These are the just regular fries. These are just regular fries, but I think we should order fries with, like, crispy. I'm gonna do a double dip here. They want you to friends. Oh, this is so good. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, that's a good fry. That is a good fry. I think they're not duck bad, but they're good. Yeah, I think I think we should order another fries as well. I mean, don't try to do it a good time. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, this, this chutney, ch chutney. Have you ever seen the show, uh, Yeah. Okay, have you ever seen the show, uh, like, uh, Yeah, I love that show. Oh, dude. The guy like, did you... Who's using my hair chutney? No? No. What's, what's, uh... He, he has to put money... I don't know, why am I blanking on his name? He's got to put money in the douche bag jar whenever he comes to the show. Max Greenberg. Max Greenberg. Um, what is... Smith. Smitty. Smitty, yeah. So funny. I, I love, love that, that. That character is what keeps me watching that show. You know, oh, that, that Zoe Day show is so fun. He was... Speaking um, of which, Zoe, if you're watching, will you, will you go on a date with me? <laughs> putting it out there. Uh, put it out to the interwebs. Somehow, if you find me, my name's Ryan Judy. I live in Venice Beach. I'd love to take you out to dinner. Get to know the real you, not the Hollywood glamour by you. I did not make this channel for that to happen. Uh, but on, <laughs> on that note, Max Greenfield was, um, was nominated for an Oscar. An Oscar or an Emmy? No, an Emmy. An Emmy. For that show? Yeah. And rightfully so. Yeah. He should have one. Rightfully so. Um, do you want to talk about the slap? Do you want to talk about the slap? The slap ball? The slap ball. 
You love the slab. I, I, I have a big fan of slab wall. Uh, and that's mostly because a lot of people hate slab. Because it's a different, it's a different mindset. For it is. It is. Uh, the, like the, the general like pushing and pulling of like just kind of muscling through your climb, you can't do on slab. No. No. So a lot of people just stay away from it. It's a lot more of like, a balancing act and very just minute tweaks of your body that, that are going to allow you to get it. And to me, that that's the beauty of climbing. That's the art. It's just the the tiny different like oh instead of having like my shoulders like this, they need to be like this, and it just changes your whole body weight positioning on a wall that's just slightly. Yeah. It's just beautiful. And hittingly, you're really good at it. I, don't know, I would say really good, but yeah, yeah. I, I do like it. Yeah, you are really good at it. Which is the direct opposite. The reason I love slab is because it is, as you say, the direct opposite. Jack. Oh, thanks, man. Can we have the carny first? Sure. Nice. As well. Yeah. yeah. Right on top of it. <laughs> um, the thing that I love about the slab wall is that. So my typical form of climbing is being in the barrel or being upside down and creating this huge, fat, strong movement. And I really dig that. I really dig that kind of like powerful climbing. And it is only on the slab that I ever get to say delicate when you climb. Oh, yeah. It, it is very delicate. It's very delicate. It's kind of like, it's like making love. It's very delicate. Very soft, very tender. I want to hear this. Continue on. <laughs> well, I mean, there's, there's a difference in, like, I mean, you can make love and you can do other things. But making love is very, it's, it's very minute, like, slow movement, very passionate. And that's kind of how you feel about, at least I feel about slap all the time. I mean, it's not the same as making love, but it, it's, it, it's, it was the closest, <laughs> the closest thing that came to mind. We're going to let you get away with that. All right. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> so, on that note... <laughs> um, the other thing that I really like, though, what, what originally got me into climbing was the overhead. Yeah. Really, like, yeah. strong, powerful moves. Like, impressions. Because that's just, like, when you when you think of, like, really cool climbing, I, I think of people, like, open water soloing in like an arch you know, and just like that, to me that is what, like the, the, the that's what got me into fire was I watching think, those videos I think that's the the appeal of it because it's super exciting mm -hmm. right like you see somebody boulder and they do the cool stuff you know, like they do the heel hook they do the toe hook they do the thing of you know above their head you know? oh, yeah. and the drive by the drive by and they do all these things and if you were to watch like it's Really exciting, the dino. The, the dino. The it's dino. All, like it's all it's just fun to do. Yeah. However, I look at bouldering more as practicing for other styles of climbing. To me, like the, the end all be all of climbing is, is track climbing. Uh -huh. I mean, because that's just it's just it incorporates all of it. Like all of climbing, crack climbing, base climbing, and just the mental game of knowing that the only piece of protection there is 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 this. It's just one night. This, this, this thing that I placed, and I better be damn sure I placed it right. Yeah, I agree. But we're getting off topic. We're here to talk about close We are here to talk about close it. I love it. It gets five star rating for me. Five star rating for me. And I was trying to think of something that would make it four and a half, and I think the only thing is that they just don't have the rope wall up yet. Yeah, but that's coming. So. But and so that's the thing. I'm taking the leap of faith that if. If they do everything that they do on the bouldering side, I mean on the climbing side that they do have on the bouldering side, top notch. Oh, yeah, there isn't going to be a jam. Yeah, there isn't going to be a jam that's going to ever match it. For sure. For sure. Oh. Um, Especially like what, what, is, what, what is it? Like a 38 foot, 40 foot wall? 40. I think it's going to be above 40. But when you think about, no, but when you think about like anything that's overhung, that's, that's like turning 40 to 45 or 50. Oh yeah, because you're starting, and then that's an extra five feet right there, just kind of coming yeah, out. Kind of soaking out. Yeah. Okay, food is here. We're ready to eat. We've been starving since like what? I've been starving ever since this morning. Yeah. Yeah. I've been starving since about noon. Yes. 
I mean, it's great. It's a small joint. There's, there's a back, there's a big yard area that just is like fantastic, especially for like the, the, the summer days that we get here in Southern California, which by summer days, I mean the, the year round days. The year round of like 70, 75 degrees. And so it's gorgeous outside. And then like they, they got like whatever sport is on, it doesn't matter. And then like, and, like everybody here, like we got people sitting next to us that have just been like totally cool with us filming the entire time. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. basically at ourselves. <laughs> and not to you. We're yeah. talking to you. We're talking to you. We're but, talking to you. But at the same time, like, not only would I feel comfortable bringing myself here, but I would, I would come here on a date. Because it's like, it's also that kind of low key. It is. Right? I, I think, again, if, again, if I was coming from the climbing gym and I wanted something to eat and I wanted to bring like a lunch date to, to a place, I would definitely come. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Easily. Like, hey, uh, I know this really great hamburger joint that's just out the way. You want to come and share it? Yeah. Boom. Done. Yeah. Yeah. Who's gonna say no to us? They have veggie. They have a tempeh burger yeah. here. That, and from my friends that are vegetarian that have eaten here, they they said it's fantastic. They said it's yummy. It's one of the best in town. I was tempted to get it. Just to try it. But I'm such a carnivore that I like I, I couldn't quite do it. Me too. Me too. All right. So we rated the food. We like the ambiance. We like the ambiance. Yes. We like the, we like the, the location. Oh, I like the location. Absolutely. Yeah. It's perfect. It's right on Washington Boulevard. It's right yeah. there. Like literally, if we turn the camera around, you would just see Washington Boulevard. It's not hard Absolutely. to find. But yeah. the service. Now, there's one thing I need to say about the service. Tell me about okay. the service. Like, I, sorry, guys. But it's fantastic. <laughs> it, you know what? The people here are wonderful. They're sweet. They're attentive. Yeah. We walked right in, met the general manager. Super cool. Big smile on his face the entire time. And that's what you want. You want like a general manager that's going to be working. Yeah. And he came, and he came in and was like, what's up, guys? Yeah, go ahead and set the camera up right over there. And then uh, it wasn't just us because it's us working with the camera. Like, legitimately, just about every person that walked through the door, I saw one or two servers go up and just be like, Welcome to Hubble Potato, what's up? This is how we work. And it's like, oh, I love places like that. Yeah. You just want to walk into a place and feel like they're just going to be cool people. Yeah. Like, you don't need to be a jerk to, like, own a restaurant or to, like, serve food. There's nothing exclusive about about being a jerk that way. Nobody wants that. No, no. And this place definitely takes the cake on, or takes the burger, if you will, on just, like, the overall. I mean, in my opinion, five out of five across the board. Just for every, everything that you could want in terms of location, which is, like, super close to the climbing gym. It took us less than, less than ten minutes to get here, and we were in traffic on the tent. We were. We were. Like, it was not hard. And then, in terms of, like, as soon as we walked in, people just greeting you, be like, oh, hey. Super stoked to see you. They're just like, uh, awesome. And then the food. food. Yeah, I don't know if you guys noticed this. I literally had to stop myself from eating just so I would have something else to eat when we finished filming. And here's the thing. I'm stoked to eat here. Like, oh, yeah. like when I'm coming here, I know I'm gonna I'm oh, gonna have something awesome. Yeah, it, regardless of what you order on the menu, the people next to us had one of the uh, the hot dogs. Yeah. And we're raving about it. Like they were like, it's the bees knees, the cat's pajamas, if you will. The squirrel's knuckles, who knows? It did look really nice. It did. It did look I was kinda sad I didn't order it myself. But I had to I had to was Friday. Yeah. You had to save the belly for that. I did, I did. Um, uh, I'm actually, uh, there's only one thing I'm sad about, that's that it's done. Because it was so delicious, I want to eat another one. Like, I'm fully stuffed, but I, like, I want another one. Yeah. It's that To good. go home. Yeah, I mean, just to, 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 to get a doggy bag, get a to-go box, whatever. Yeah, no biggie. All about it. Um, let me stop it. I do want to talk about one more thing with you guys. Oh, no. There goes the knife. Be careful, this is what Macbeth used. Yummy. I had to eat the other one. I had to do it. It was too good. Alright, so, wait. 
Alright, you guys, one more thing. Um, this came about because, you know what? Ryan and I were at the gym, we were talking about burgers, and you know what? Can, can this be a thing for us? Can we go to all the burger joints around town that are relatively near cliffs so people can. So no. we can find different places for people to eat? Yeah. Oh, because, hands down. You know what? I think this, for us, this is probably going to be like a $30, 40 meal. Right? Because the burgers were like 15 15 we got two things of fries because we forgot to order the good fries, and then I yeah. had a beer. And then I had a soda. So it's going to be probably around like $40 for two people. Which is not bad. It's not bad. Especially when you're on the west side of LA. Yeah. But, you know, I... Some of my friends are dirtbags. Are some of your friends dirtbags? Uh, I'd say a good majority of them are yeah. dirtbags, especially the they're, climbers. <laughs> they're dirtbag climbers. So I think this should be our. I think this should be a thing for us. I think we should hit up In and Out, right? Like, uh, I mean, hands down, one of the best burgers of all time. If you guys, burgers, yes. yeah, like if you guys are on the East Coast, we have a thing called In and Out here on the West Coast. I personally think it trumps Five Guys, and I don't care if that pisses off the East Coasters. Is that an East Coast thing? Yeah, Five Guys. Oh, is it right. not? Or Fat, no, I don't know. It's better than, no, because Fat Burger is all around, but Five no. Guys is East Coast. Yeah. Fat Burger is all around, but Fat Burger, Southern California owns Fat Burger. Like, that is, like, when Ice-T yes, puts it, it in a, put, when Ice-T puts it in a song, like, it is definitively a South, like, a Southern California burger. Right, but so if, I think if, we should go. I, I think if, if Southern California owns that burger, in and out owns Southern California. Ergo, just by basic rules of logic, fat burger, in and out. <laughs> Disagree. This is how this is how this thing this, this whole thing started. This is how it's gonna work. Arguing over burgers, which one was the best? Yeah. But since I brought you here, do you agree with me that this was a good this was a good choice for us to to have a, a good first episode of what, what are we gonna call it? We'll come up with a name. We'll come up with a name. However, I disagree with you because this was not a good choice to have our first our first menu option of the burger. It was a fantastic choice. It was so good. It was super so good. It was super good. <laughs> I think I think the rest of the burger joints are gonna have to. They're gonna have to like we hit hard. Yeah. Like we are hard for the course right now. If not, uh, I don't. I mean below par, but like yeah, <laughs> yeah. Golf they're turn gonna. Hard. Thing, but. Like we have like a good standard, <laughs> and <laughs> we might, okay. here's the thing. Brian and I will continue to do this. We'll hit up five guys. We'll hit up five guys. We'll hit up in and out. We'll hit up the bur like we'll even hit up roast coaches. Yeah, I'll hit, up, I'll hit up a road coach. Oh, I love being a good road coach. You know what? Especially if you're around Cliffs of it. Not my favorite burger. I think we talked about this. Everybody wants to talk about Father's Office. So, I think we should go. I mean, yeah. <laughs> First off, I don't know if I can trust your opinion on burgers if you say that Father's Office is not a good burger. Because everything at Father's Office is hands down amazing, from the wine list to the beer to the beer selection to the Brussels sprouts with bacon and an egg on top to the burger. <laughs> we're gonna have so much to talk about. <laughs> so right. many things. We're gonna we're gonna leave it here. We're gonna have so much to talk about. We're gonna make this our thing. Yeah. Um, this is gonna be. Just get so used you, to this. Just get so used you to guys this know, <laughs> like, I'm starting out thin, all right? I'm starting out thin. This may change. I'm going to stay thin because I'm, it, it takes a lot of work keeping this a 10. Yeah, it, it does. It's, it's hard work. I don't know if you guys understand. All right. So, Jeremy. Ryan. And uh, thanks, you guys, for watching. Um, Cliffs of it, thanks for, you know, letting us do our thing. Thanks humble for letting potato. us play. Oh, God. Humble potato. Thank you, humble potato. You guys yes. gotta come by if you guys are interested in a really great burger. Thank, humble potato, thank you for allowing us to be <laughs> in your restaurant. It's been it's been so much fun. One last thing I want to mention just about, about humble potato is just really cool. And uh, I'm gonna make sure that Jeremy at least gets a shot of some of the just some of the art that's on the wall. It just 
It's so cool. Like you, we, you bring it in, and you just like as soon as you walk in, it's not only the, the service or the smile. It's it's just. I mean, they have Adam West Batman over here, like Japanese though. But with it written in Japanese. Japanese. Uh, All right. <laughs> Sorry, I can tell myself. Alright, yeah. if you guys like what we're doing, subscribe to the channel, and um, we hope to see you guys soon. So thanks for watching, and I think that's it. Just about, yeah. That's it. Click. See you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Woo! Oh.